it's Victoria here from Bella Crafts and today I'm here to make with you Hilda the Hippo. So you guys need to make sure that you get your painted t-shirts or aprons on, mummies and daddies, make yourself a nice hot cup of tea and let's get started. Okay, so we've got everything we need here ready to make Hilda. Um, so make sure that you've got your eye, your ear pieces here, your teeth and your nostrils. So make sure we've got those bits at the ready. And then we're just going to take these bits out the way and we're going to start painting um, Hilda's little mouth. So when we stick our hippo pieces together, um, she'll have a little mouth that will open like this. Um, she can see a big teeth in there. So we're just going to need to make sure that we've got some grey paint ready, we've got some pink to go inside, we've got a little bit of black just to add our spots on. We might not want to get that out yet, we might want to do that in a second once we've done our painting. Um, and then we are all ready to go. So we're just going to start off just by painting the inside of Hilda's mouth. So if we take our little paintbrush, um, we're just going to take the pink paint and we're going to open this piece up and we're going to paint all of the inside with this nice pink colour just to do the inside of her mouth. And it's really important that we try and fill all the white gaps when we do our painting, guys. So make sure that there's no bits which are uncovered and showing white go all around here if you guys have ever seen any videos or any hippos at the zoo when they do a big yawn they have got such big mouths so that's why we've given our heeled of a hippo, a big mouth that we can open up and have a good look inside. Okay, so we're just going to do all these edge bits. Do all around the top here. There we go. So we've got it all covered up. There we go. So I think that piece is done for now. So I'm just going to pop this piece to the side and we're just going to let that run dry. And then in a minute we will turn it over and paint the outside. So I'm just washing off my brush in the water here, which has gone all pink. Okay, so I'm going to pop that bit out of the way. And then I'm just going to get my head piece. So that's this one and we're just going to paint this one all with this nice grey colour here. So again we've got to make sure that we cover up all of the gaps. I'm just going to fill it all up with the colour. Okay, on it goes. Get all around the edges as well, boys and girls. Just fill it all up with this grey colour. There we go. So it's all covered up with the grey. And then I'm just going to do some of our sparkly paint on here as well. So just give my brush another wash. And I'm going to get some of our glitter paint here. And I'm just going to paint this over the top so that our Hilda the Hippo is all sparkly. Oh, this glitter doesn't want to stick to my brush today. There we go. Now you guys might not be able to see my sparkles on the camera, but I tell you, she is looking super sparkly now. So if you guys have got any glitter paint, you can do that on your little hippo too. Okay, so I think that's all covered up. Now whilst the mouthpiece is still drying, I'm just going to get my ears and I'm going to stick my ears onto my hippo as well. So these are the ear shapes. So we've got the ears that look like this. We've got the teeth, which are the longer ones, 
and then we've got our little nostril pieces as well. So we don't need the nostril or the teeth just yet, but we do want to do our little ears. So I'm just going to take my glue and I'm just going to pop a little bit of glue down the bottom of each ear. So just a little run along like this. There we go. And then I'm just going to stick those to the back of Hilda's head. So if I lift this one up, I'm just going to squidge it down like so. I'm going to do the same with the other side. There we go. So she's got her ears on her. So we'll put this piece up out the way to dry for a second now. And then we can come on and we can paint the other side of the mouth. So if we close this one up, so if we fold it back in half, and we're going to use our grey colour again, and we're just going to paint over the top here. And we're just going to cover all of this up with the grey colour, and this is going to make the top part of her mouth. There we go, make sure you get all the little gaps. There we go, it's looking all painty. Now to add our little bits of detail onto Hilda the Hippo, I'm going to take my paintbrush and I'm going to turn it upside down and I'm going to dip the wrong end in the black paint so the end is all painty and then I'm going to dip this end onto my Hilda the Hippo to give her some little whisker spots. Okay. I'm just going to do this all round the top of her mouth just here. Yep. And gives us nice little spots doing it this way. There we go. Okay, so now we've got our spots and we've painted our mouth. We can just stick these bits onto her headpiece. So I'm going to move the paints out of the way now because we don't need these anymore. And we're just going to get our glue and we're going to paint some glue on the bottom half of our hippo's mouth. Okay, so if we take our glue and we're going to do some bits around the edges. Glue all around here, up to about halfway up our little hippo. There we go. So we've just got about half our face all gluey. And we're going to stick this one on there like so. Oops, it's all squidged down at the top. And then the next bit that we're going to do is we're going to glue on the nostrils. So I'm just going to give my table a little wipe just here, just because it's looking pretty painty, isn't it? There we go. Let me pop that one back in the middle. So for our little nostril pieces, we just need to put some glue just on the back. So I'm going to put some glue on there. And then we're going to squidge them on just near the top. At a little bit of an angle. And this is his nostrils for his nose. We're just doing the same with the other one. On it goes. There we go. And then for his teeth, if you have a look at this one, you should have a long tooth, but then you've got a folded piece as well. And what we're going to do for this one is we're just going to put the glue on the folded piece and then we're going to stick this inside the mouth so I'll just show you now yours might still be a little bit sticky so if it's still a bit wet you can wait for it to dry a little bit more before you do this bit but we're just going to take that glued piece there and we're just going to stick that 
up there like so and then that should hold Hilda's mouth open as well. So I'm going to do the same with the other one. So I'm just going to stick the glue on there and then I'm going to pop this one on the other side like so. Okay, so just to finish off our little Hilda, we're just going to give her some eyes. So I think I'm going to choose someone with some nice pretty eyelashes. We're going to pop that one on there. And we're going to pop that one on there. And there we go. Our Hilda the Hippo is all finished. So thank you so much for joining us for this video guys. If you haven't got your kit, we've still got some available. So if you head over to our website, you can order all the bits to make this one and all of our other On Safari friends. And we will see you at the next video. Thanks, bye!